Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the news about the achievement of Chinese chip. For the current stage of scientific research and development, what kind of chips can be obtained directly determines the technological upper limit of a country. Since the implementation of chip regulations, it has become difficult for Chinese companies to obtain high-end chips, and some companies have been completely interrupted. Supply The unilateral cutoff of chip manufacturers by American companies has gradually lost their international reputation, and Chinese companies are no longer exclusive to adopt them, and have begun to launch a domestic replacement plan. Huawei has assembled a domestic high-quality industrial chain and has created a de-Americanize production capacity prototype. What Chinese people like to see most is pure domestic products, especially in the semiconductor field. So, what will this bring to the development of domestic science and technology? Lungsen lived up to expectations. There are not a few companies engaged in chip research and development in China, but it can be said that there are almost no companies that can achieve complete autonomy. Although Huawei can design 5 nanometers chips, it still depends on the core instruction, set architecture, and EDA design software. Western companies, such examples abound in China. Lungsen, on the other hand, completed the counterattack very well, truly achieved 100% independence, and its products are also purely domestic. The principle is, do not accept overseas capital and resolutely realize the self-reliance of core technologies. To ensure the pure domestic of the chip, the first thing to solve is the problem of the instruction set architecture. Lungsen used the MIPS architecture in the early stage. He thought that he would be foolproof by purchasing a permanent patent license, but after the MIPS parent company was acquired, corresponding problems also appeared in patent licensing, and Lungsen had to start building his own instruction set architecture. After years of hard work, the fully autonomous Long Arch architecture was born and passed the evaluation of professional institutions, successfully getting rid of the situation of relying on the underlying core technology, and Lungsen has also begun to move towards the pure domestic road. Lungsen has delivered a variety of chips, but most of them are low-end chips, and the scope of use is limited. The follow-up goal is also placed on the breakthrough of high-performance chips. On the internet, Lungsen revealed, the high-performance PC processor 3A6000 will be taped out in the first half of 2023. Just recently, the news about this chip was officially confirmed. 3A6000 has completed the tape-out delivery. Although it only uses the 14 nanometers process, after adopting the new version of the architecture, the simulation running score has increased by 30%. The point performance is also effectively improved by more than 60%, and the area is effectively reduced by 20%, while the performance is greatly improved. According to the data analysis from the test, this processor of Lungsen has at least reached the level of Intel Core 11, which can meet most of the domestic needs, and it can be said that it has broken through to the critical point of high-end chips. Lungsen's strength The performance of 3A6000 has been greatly improved, and it still adopts the self-developed Long Arch architecture, which is not the mainstream x86, an ARM architecture in the market. The 14 nanometers technology SMIC 
and Shanghai Huahong have ways to produce it, and now it is completed in China. After tape out, it can be called a pure domestic chip. Many people may be dismissive of 14 nanometers, but you must know that Intel has barely completed the manufacture of 7 nanometers chips with a high degree of support. At present, most of the domestic PCs are also 14 nanometers and below. This is definitely enough for ordinary people. The company has a sound research and development system, has a large number of core technical personnel, and has achieved significant research results at home and abroad. The company's research and development departments include chip research and development, system research and development, Godson, etc. The company is committed to the core technology of high-performance processors, SOC chips, analog chips, including power supply, clock chips, and other chips. The system research and development department is responsible for the research and development of core technologies such as the core, operating system, and application program framework. Lungsen Lab undertakes the development of cutting-edge technologies in the processor field. In the past 10 years, Huawei High Silicon has invested more than 480 billion yuan in research and development and has collected a large number of top talents at home and abroad at high prices, creating today's achievements. It is worthy of the title of national enterprise and has helped China in the field of science and technology. Take a lot less day tours. And Lungsen's success is based on faith, which really reflects the courage of the national team. In the past five years, its research and development funds have started from 75 million yuan, and by 2021, it will only be 320 million yuan. Many people can't stand the low salary and leave. But the people who stay are great enough. They have the Chinese dream in their hearts. Now Lungsen's development has stabilized. In 2021, the profit will increase by as much as 227%. Beda has fully adopted purely domestic chips, which has helped the country's high-tech industry of autonomy. If it can break the monopoly of Intel and AMD on the PC side, Lungsen will become the most dazzling new star. With the current support of Chinese companies for domestic chips, this day will come soon. What do you think of this?